Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about my sort of number one secret, if you will, my, you know, of my bag of tricks of how to get noticed by recruiters, how to get callbacks, and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I was doing before, what I'm doing now, and what I've actually been doing for about six years now, back when I was doing internships, and how this helped me. I, I noticed a distinct difference in the amount of calls I was getting to what I was getting after the fact, and how I've gotten feedback over the time about how much more noticeable and interesting I am as a candidate because of it. And so we're going to tell you my, my sort of hot tip, if you will, of how to make sure that you get noticed and you get those callbacks when you're applying for jobs or roles. I'd like to take the moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been working with Dev Mountain for about two years now, and I've interviewed hundreds, not hundreds, but I've interviewed many candidates from there, and I've met a lot of few. One of, one of their graduates is my good friend, Engineer Truth, who's uh, enjoyed the program. I've even visited uh, back when they had their Provo, Utah campus, which was absolutely gorgeous. So uh, if you're interested in any sort of coding bootcamp, iOS development, web development, um, UI UX quality assurance. I suggest you give them a consideration at devmountain.com. So back in about 2012 or so, I was trying to figure out when I was first applying for interns, maybe 2013, why I wasn't getting calls back. At first, I assumed that it was, you know, I'm inexperienced. I don't have, you know, the a, a nice resume in the sense that I don't have, I I don't have what employers are looking for. But what I ended up finding out was I did have some of the skills, obviously, you know, as you're an intern, you're, you're lacking things, but I just wasn't getting noticed. I wasn't my, my resume, which looked like every other resume out there, wasn't drawing attention to it, wasn't showcasing why I was such a great candidate. And that ended up allowing me to stumble over NovoResume.com. Now, just to be completely transparent, this is not a sponsored video. I have been using them for years. And the reason for it is uh, what Novo Resume is, is, is a, a uh, very fantastic um, paid for resume template site. And I'll, I'll showcase my resume to you and tell you what, what I've been doing with it. And every, every six months or so, I go and update my resume on here. I go and manage it. And ever since I've done that, getting a job and getting callbacks, I was going from the standard sort of black and white resume to a, a, uh, a Novo resume template that I've been tweaking here or there. And I've gotten tenfold the amount of callbacks. And not only that, from talking with recruiters, I've gotten much more, um, they, they appreciate it because it stands out, it's different, it's easily organized, everything. So let me go ahead and just give you a quick glance at how my resume is and what I really like about it. So um, currently I have more of a CV structure because one thing is for a while I've been really recommending that people keep their resume to a single page. And what's great about Novo Resume is not only can you do cover letters um, in the premium version, uh, but you can also do, so there is a free version and a premium version. Most of the content and most of the good stuff comes with the premium version and it's completely worth it. Um, you know, you can always, of course, they probably don't want me saying this, but you can always, of course, download the PDF and then if you have Adobe Premiere, edit it there. But you can also pay like $90 a year and you get access to it. And you're saying, Dylan, $90 a year is quite a bit let me tell you, when you're going and applying for jobs that are going to pay you six figures, going to pay you 50 grand, whatever it is, $90, if this helps you get more calls back, if this helps you get a job, it's completely worth it, which is why I've paid for it in the past and, uh, you know, continue to. So, um, you know, I want to show you real quick. So you can, of course, change fonts to be various things. Uh, I like Roboto, but you could do Railway as well if you want to. Actually, Railway is just looking kind of nice, isn't it? Uh, Hmm. All right, uh, but you can change fonts, you can change font size. So I'm sort of a unique candidate, and one of the things that I, I transitioned from one page layout, to, or one page uh, template to a multiple page to two pages was because I was finding that I wasn't able to clearly communicate that. And the reason for it is I was submitting one page resumes. I was getting feedback from recruiters saying, well, I didn't know this. This would have definitely made me much more excited to talk to you. And we really think you should put that on there. Our clients don't mandate that you have a one page resume. And so what I'm able to do instead is some people might hand like six or seven page resumes in that are not very organized. 
Uh, Nova Resume allows me to get various details in here and really dive into it deep so that we can get those items. We can get that those uh, details in there and it's still in a, a very organized fashion. You can also, also of course change the themes. I, I really like every aspect of this uh, because I, the re so part of the reason you get call, callbacks with a nice resume in, in this case is it's nice and even. You can see we have our technical skills broken out into various pieces so that they can see exactly what they're getting because not only are you appealing to the recruiter but you're also appealing to the the dev managers and the um, you know the hiring managers. And having a nice theme, having a nice layout, some people might say, oh, that's a little less traditional. Exactly. That's what we want to go to. This is 20, it's 2019, guys. You want to stand out. You want to draw attention to yourself. They're going to get 100 black and white resumes. They're going to get hundreds and hundreds. At least yours will be different. At least they'll see that and they'll say, maybe I'll spend more than the seven seconds companies do that spend on looking at your resume and you know a nice theme a different color something stand out i just go with blue blue's pretty standard for most of this stuff um you know they have, you can see they have various options and then uh you don't have to have a background if you don't like it i personally like it it's very subtle you might it's even uh, showing up a little bit harder on here um but if you look closely you can see that there's like a little uh, animation background but you can get rid of it if you like um i just chose that one because i think it's somewhat relatable um but you can, you can do whatever you want. I've also used this one in the past. And then layout and templates. So as I mentioned, they have different tiers of what it is you're trying to do. So they have different sort of initial templates. And, um, you know, creative is a, a cool one. I forget which one this is. Uh, what, this is executive. So, um, you know, you can easily transition between a lot of this stuff. Say, oh, cool. I already have various ones. Let me go ahead and change it up just to see what it feels like. Let me go ahead and uh, change what it looks like. And maybe I, I want, uh, and you, you can notice that you can change the color schemes as well. You just have to go in and play around with it. Um, you know, functional, modern. Modern's a nice one. I really like modern as well. Um, and, you know, granted, when you go in and change the templates, you might have to reorganize your content a little bit. But let's uh, let's go back to uh, executive, which is what I was at, and see the layout. So one great thing about here is uh, you can see what sort of experience level that you're at, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. You'll see there's a freelancer one. They have a senior, graduate, student, and the reason for it is depending on where you're at in your career, you should have a different style resume. There's certain things that you're going to want, certain things that you're not going to want. I personally like to put photo on mine. The reason for it is that even though some organizations um, feel uncomfortable about it because they don't want to be like sued for like, oh, this is a white guy. We hired this white guy, right? <laughs> um, this is this is not, you know, that that's why they're they're uncomfortable about it. They want to be inclusive and they don't want to they want anything to say that they're not. And a picture of what the other person looks like might might do that. Why I put it on there is because um, studies have shown that it's they're more likely to look at your resume when there's a picture on there. There's a significant increase in that aspect because now you're a person. Now you're not just this black and white piece of paper. They have a face associated with it. Um, but you can see here that you can go ahead and do a custom layout as I, I have done. And they have predefined ones as well, just to give you an idea. And the two column layout is something I particularly like. You can see that they have various other things in here. Um, the way that I have mine broken down and the way that you organize these, you can organize, all it takes is a, a drag and drop and now you have a, a different organization on here. Um, the way that I organize it, there's a, a reason for it is that, um, you know, based on where your skills are and what's important to do, say you're a student, say you don't really have any resume experience, first thing I would do is pro technical skills projects. But I happen to have, I happen to have work experience. Uh, there we go. I happen to have work experience, and because of that, I want that on there. So you might have uh, technical skills, projects, certifications, education. You notice I don't have my education on there because no one really cares that I have a high school diploma. That doesn't do anything for my resume, and that's why it's not on there. And honestly, in terms of references, I put that on there um, because I have I have sort of like a page and three fourths of content that I want on there. And references are things people ask for, and I put that on there, and I I happen to like it. But um, down the road, I might swap it out with some other items here. Uh, but you can see that you can switch uh, to various um, custom things, and uh, we'll maybe I'll walk through and we can create. Uh, a different different aspect we go in the settings you can um, change how all these are listed how you want even the page and footer to be um, but because of this because of this site 
I've been able to get a lot more callbacks. Um, I get a lot of comments. So I'm one of those people that like to put a little bit of humor on their resume. Um, the reason for this is I think it makes me interesting. That's why I don't have a very serious profile pic. I don't recommend everyone doing this. I'm sure this has hurt me in the past. Uh, but you'll see I put like 2006 Time Magazine Person of the Year on here, which is sort of a, a little meme that I put on here. So if you do 2006 Time Magazine Person of the Year, like this is something recruiters like because it's different. They don't get to see stuff like this. Is like uh, the two that the, essentially it was you. Uh, so we're all the 2006 Time Person of the Year. That's the joke. Uh, which should I put it in my opening sentence? Some people like it. Uh, I, I'd say the majority of people like it. But when you organize your resume, first thing for any role, in my opinion, you want to have is technical skills cleanly and clearly broken out. Uh, and then, of course, as you go, if you have work experience, relevant work experience, you want to have in detail bullet points as to what it is you actually did. You can see here I'm, I'm going through each one of these um detailing now one thing that i wish they did that they don't do on here is um and it's sort of a something i do is when i'm done making my edits a novo resume i download this and then each one of these keywords like html css i bold it like so uh, the problem with this is that this is text but uh the reason i do that is i want these keywords to pop out a little bit more as they're reading through my resume because again they're just scanning your resume 99.9% .9 of the time um, and then, of course, I have personal projects. I also have bullet points going through there and um, certificates and volunteer experience and then my references. But this isn't necessarily about uh, that. Uh, another cool uh, cool thing that you can do is if you go to... Uh, so you have your documents, right? And uh, you can see they have uh, resumes for zero to five years experience and the CVs. And then they have cover letters. So um, you can go in here and uh, let me just... Uh, Go ahead and create this real quick. And uh, one thing I, I forgot to mention is that all your data, you can import this data. It's various aspects of it, and you can see that. Uh, so this is a cover letter. I have actually used this for a couple different things. I've used it for references. I've used it as a cover letter, and I've used it for letters of resignation. And it just allows you to have a nice little setup. So again, you can have various different templates as you go through and uh, play around with it, functional. Uh, modern simple it just sort of depends and you can change all the layout but I wanted to share this with you because I think it's an excellent product I've been using it for years and I can say before I've used it and after I've used it that I've noticed the difference and I've been told the difference that you know sometimes you'll get it's an interesting resume You're like yeah but you called didn't you like <laughs> like it's like oh it's uh you know we stood out and you know it's a clean resume and it's very easy to go through and organize and I definitely looked at it longer these are things that I've had probably about 50 recruiters over the last five years or so tell me so if you're looking for some way to get your resume a little bit more noticed to get more calls back i would highly recommend uh their product and one thing again that you can do is um, you can only sign up for a month if you want you can also pay, prepay for a year um and uh, go from there and check it out they also have a free a free version that you can go i don't remember exactly what the free version does i think i think it only allows you to have one one resume um, I have to say, by the way, that whoever their UI UX guy is, they have done a fantastic job. I really do think this is a fantastic just website in general. And you can see, uh, I'm not super familiar with Trustpilot, but it seems to be a review site where they have almost a perfect five stars and an excellent rating from 316 reviews. So a lot of people are liking this product, not just me. And um, so you can do your cover letters, CV, resumes. But anyhow, guys, I want to share this with you because getting that, getting those jobs getting noticed when you're one of 100 candidates is always hard um you know and so i think this has been one of my secrets to success and so i hope you check it out novoresume.com as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share and uh, if you're interested in any of my courses or links in the description below as well as books i recommend all that good stuff get that affiliate money you know so i'll see you guys next time bye Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.